Hey Zen fam. So, as you can see either side of me here, I have the Amazon listings for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5 versions of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Which, of course, got me thinking as one is $59.99 and the other is $49.99. And we've all been tell, haven't we? We've all been tell that the PlayStation 4 version will work okay on PlayStation 5. And what will basically happen is we'll get a file download that will make it all lovely jubbly in PlayStation 5 mini. So your PlayStation 4 disc will receive upgrade data straight to the hard drive that makes it run like the PlayStation 5 version. But then, why would you buy the PlayStation 5 version? Brand loyalty? Because you love Ubisoft? Because you really dig the white top of the box? You know? I mean, if you're buying, you know, the disc version, like, I'll, like I would be doing because I'm a physical disc kind of a guy. I like to own my games and trade my games. Don't give it up. I do have some vicious stuff. But if I can get a disc, I'll get a disc. I mean, you all know I'm intending to get the optical drive version of the PlayStation 5. You know, with the uh, with the wisdom of the gaming gods. <laughs> so, what makes the PlayStation 5 version the more choice decision? You know, it makes it the disc du jour. I don't know. And Sony's not said. They've not given us a reason as to why you would get the PlayStation 5 version over the PlayStation 4 version. And I don't know what to do. Because, yeah, I want to get Watch Dogs. But do I just buy the PlayStation 4 version and then play it on PlayStation 5? Because the fact of the matter is, if I know my gaming habits the way I think I know my gaming habits, by the time the PlayStation 5 comes out, given when Watch Dogs is supposed to come out, I'll have completed it already. And then I'm going to have to figure out what's going to be my launch game. And then, will it really be a launch game when it's just an upgraded file? Yeah? Does it feel the same buying an old gen game that plays on a new gen console but it's just got files that make it newer and fresher and more funky? It's a hard one. I mean, I don't quite know where to place myself in this one. Don't know about you lot. I mean, it's a head scratcher, it really is. <sighs> but, you know. That's what the comment section for. Typey, typey, down below. Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe, maybe, if we consider the fact that the PlayStation 5 has that, you know, special SSD, maybe the PlayStation 5 disc version works better with it. That could be a thing. Maybe it's, you know, coded in such a way that it saves in the correct manner upon the hard drive. But then again, you know, considering, like, considering things like repeating assets and stuff, but then again, if that's the case for the PlayStation 4 version, then that's literally just a file upload. So, is it better? I don't know. I really don't know. And I like to think I'm a bloke that knows. I mean, that's why I started this channel, because generally, I know stuff that a lot of people don't because I pay attention and I've been into gaming since I was a young lad. I'm 45, and I like to think I've got some experience in this stuff. But this particular question of which version do I go for, 
As honest to God, it's left me in a bit of a spin. I just, like, what do I do? Do I go, you know, PlayStation 4 version for a ten or less? Or is there some sort of special loveliness to the PlayStation 5 version for that extra ten or that that we don't know yet? Don't know. Uh, if anybody out there can enlighten me, please do. You know, why should I wait for the PlayStation 5 disc to stick in my PlayStation 5? It's got to be something more than a loyalty to PlayStation or loyalty to a, a software corporation or for aesthetics. Because when it comes right into aesthetics, don't matter. That's why I'm not fussed about what this PlayStation 5 looks like. Now, don't get me wrong, I think she looks like digital sex. But, at the end of the day, it's going to sit down there in my entertainment system and it's mostly no going to get seen. It's that simple. <sighs> I don't know. The one thing I do know is, no enough years are uh, entering the, the giveaway because the giveaway has got about 80 odd days left in it because remember it runs out on the 23rd of October and about somewhere in the mid 60s of these have entered and uh, yeah If that means only mid 60s if he's entered, and at this point the channel is standing at 366 subscribers at the time of recording, then the giveaway won't be able to work, guys, because there needs to be 500 of you subscribing for two years to win a t shirt. So get on that sharing, put my videos about whatever game in platform you're on on Facebook you know you're a part of a discussion group share my videos you know if you're on a Twitter thing or whatever share my videos there say oh dude you gotta check out this guy from Scotland he's a bit mental but he you know he's good he's fun or whatever way you want to phrase it dear god well, don't let me tell you what to do but it is fair to say that if you want to win got to get me out there you know now I believe in you guys I mean I've got a, I bought a mic a while ago to try and make the sound better I got that Sony Xperia 1 Mark 2 to make the on-the-go videos better I'm continually trying to improve the content here but I'm reaching a brick wall because I'm not progressing if I can of progress then I'm never going to be able to get things like, you know, game codes and stuff and get invites to big events and, you know, maybe have the event, a day where I can set up a Patreon and like a few of you could give me a quid a month and then I can put that away and afford better equipment and like maybe a passport so that I can do stuff like go to Gamescom and that. So, help me to grow so I can make better content for you guys. Right, I think that's enough of the prostituting myself. <laughs> I'm going to love you and leave you guys. Let me know what you think on this subject matter. I really would very much appreciate your, your uh, contribution. So I'm going to love you and leave you with the usual closing statement. Which, of course, as it always goes, uh, hashtag support Scottish YouTubers. And, of course, as always, I. Nay, bother. <laughs>